Introducing the new i-1.8 for Banks Bus 1 devices, which includes the 6-gun and Economine tuners, as well as speed brakes. This gauge packs a big punch into a small package. It reads multiple engine parameters as well as internal data directly from your bank's tuner or speed brake. It controls the tuner power level and can be used to easily set the speed brake mode and set the speed. Also available as an extremely powerful data monster version, it adds data logging for up to 100 user selectable parameters at a rate of up to 20 samples per second. With the included SD card, you can log over a month's worth of continuous data. And you can add four iDash gauges to see even more information. And the system is expandable with the new bank sensor modules like the four channel analog module, the four channel thermocouple module, and the air mouse ambient air density module. Set custom high and low alerts for any engine parameter, monitor minimum and maximum values for a user selectable list of parameters, dozens of new calculated parameters such as air density, read and clear vehicle trouble codes, and it's customizable with button colors, layout colors, you can even tell it how fast you want it to dim at night. How does the i-1.8 integrate with existing equipment? Let's take a look. So now let's take a look at how to install the new i-1.8 to replace the existing i-4.3 or 5.0 on a Banks speed brake, six gun, or Economine tuner. To do that, all you have to do is remove the existing six pin or eight pin connection that connects the old bridge and OBD2 cable and monitor assembly to the tuner harness. And we're not gonna use this anymore. It's not compatible with the new upgraded i-1.8. With your new system, you'll receive an OBD2 cable and a gauge. To install this, you simply plug this OBD2 cable into the OBD2 port the six or eight pit cable is going to plug into the six gun tuner harness, like so. And the four pin connector here plugs into the back of the i-1.8. And that's all there is to it. Now you're ready to go. So if you're looking to upgrade the switch kit version of your existing six gun or Economine tuner or speed brake, or purchasing the i-1.8 Banks Bus 1 kit for, uh, for the first time, I'm gonna walk you through how to set that up now. So for the six gun tuner or Economine tuner, simply follow the main instructions manual, installation manual included with the system to get that wire harness installed. Once you completed that section of the install, this connector here is gonna pass through the firewall and give you your i-1.8 connection. Take your OBD2 cable provided with the i-1.8 find either the six or eight pin connector, which varies based off the application that you have, and plug it into the existing six or eight pin that goes to the six gun or Economine uh, tuner. Then take the OBD2 connection and plug into your vehicle's OBD2 port. Finally, the four pin connection um, goes to the back of the i-1.8 here and simply plug it in. And that's all there is to it. So if you're gonna wire up the new i-1.8 Banks Bus 1 to both the speed brake and the tuner at the same time, the process is just as simple. So here we have the six gun system and the speed brake system, both tied together using a Y cable. So to hook up the i-1.8, all you're gonna do is take the six or eight pin connector, depending on application, from the new OBD2 cable and plug it into the Y cable Take the other lead, which is the four pin connector that goes up to the i-1.8 and plug it into the back. So as we mentioned earlier, you're able to expand the i-1.8 up to four gauges on the same bus. To do that, that's really simple. All you're gonna have to do is purchase our i-1.8 expansion kit. And with that, you'll receive a Y cable and a new gauge. To hook up this gauge, on the back here, you'll see a six pin connector. Use the Y cable to install one end of the cable into the six pin connector, and the other end of the Y cable into your existing gauge. So now you have two gauges on the bus. If you wanted to add a third and a fourth, you just purchase the same kit and then one end of the Y cable goes into your new gauge, and then the other end goes into this end of the Y cable. And just like so, you're able to keep expanding for more and more gauges. 
So now let's go over how you set up your I-1.8 for a six gun or Economine tuner. To do that, once you have it all wired in, you're gonna be set with the default layout. To change it, press the top right button to go into the main menu. Go down or select gauge layout. If you scroll to the bottom, you should see the tuner layout, which pops up once you plug in a tuner. Select that using the top right button and now you'll see a new screen. On this layout, in the bottom left corner, you have the current power level. On the right, there's a bar graph that goes up and down based on the current power being added by the tuner. To change the power level, simply press the up button to go up the power level, or the down button to go down like so. And that's all there is to it. To set up your new I-1.8 for a speed break, you're gonna to need to change the layout to the new speed break layout. To do that, press the top right button to go into the menu, then select gauge layout, scroll down towards the bottom, and if you have a speed brake con uh, connected, you should see a speed brake option. Select that layout, and now you'll see a new screen populate. On the bottom left corner, it shows your current setting. On the right over here, this is the brake percentage, and you'll see a bar graph in real time showing you how much braking force the speed brake is adding to your system. In order to change the settings, while you're in this screen, hold the up button on the top left to switch the mode. So now we just turned it to the off position. If I hold it again for about two seconds, now we're in manual mode. One more time for two seconds, and we're back into the speed auto mode. When you're in speed mode, or auto braking, press the up button to change the, spe the speed set point. You can go up or down in increments of five miles an hour. So this is a target speed that you're trying to maintain and the speed brake will automatically adjust if you're above or below that set point in order to try to maintain that speed. If you hold the up button, this turns the speed brake off completely so it's deactivated. One more time. And now we're in manual mode. In manual mode, as soon as you're off the brake, the speed brake will adjust its force based off what you have it set to. To switch the setting, press down to go down to low, or you can press up to go all the way up to high. There's one last setting for the speed brake, which is the foot brake. To access this setting, press the menu, go down the banks modules, press select, Go down the speed brake, press select, and here you'll see at the very bottom the foot brake option. Right now it's set to not active, so let's go into that and activate it. And you can see its status has changed to active. A side note here, you can also change any of these settings um, in this menu as well, but it's quicker to access from the speed brake layout, like I just showed you previously. To return back now, you'll see an additional FB in the bottom right corner when you're in manual mode. What FB means is that the uh, speed brake will only activate when you press the brakes. So if you just get off the throttle and coast, uh, your speed brake won't be active. This is to kind of save on fuel economy, but once you tap on the brakes, then the speed brake will active to further slow you down. This feature is only available in manual mode. So we have this gauge up here set up for tuner mode the gauge on the bottom set up for the speed brake layout. So now at any time when you're driving around, you can change the speed brake power, I mean the tuner power level by pressing up or down on the gauge that has the tuner layout on it. And then this bottom gauge over here, I can change the set point for the manual up or down. Or if I use that long hold, I can switch the mode. So now we're over in auto mode and I can change the current speed set point. So by doing two gauges, you're able to have full control of both your speed brake and your tuner simultaneously. So let's say you have both a six gun tuner and a speed brake, and you only want to use a single gauge to control both devices. Well, we have a solution for that. Over here right now, we're set up with this first gauge on the top for the six gun uh, layout, or the tuner layout. But if you go into the top right button to go into menu, scroll down until you see settings, press the top right to select, scroll down, 
you'll see an option called Tuner Auto Switch. If I select that, right now it's off, so I'll select again and turn it to on. So with this setting uh, active, activated, hold back to return to the main menu. Now what's going to happen is the tuner and speed brake are going to both switch back and forth based on how you're driving the vehicle. Anytime you're decelerating and moving, so your speed's greater than zero and you're off the throttle, you'll see the speed brake screen, which you'll see active by the gray box over here. When you're coasting and decelerating, you're able to change your set point or change your speed brake settings at that point. As soon as you come to a complete stop or you're moving and have the throttle greater than zero, it'll switch back to the six gun mode, like here in red. And when you're in this mode, you're able to change this uh, tuner power level up or down. So this setting allows you to either use a single gauge to control both modules, or if you have two gauges, it lets you free up the second gauge to use an eight gauge layout or something else if you prefer that. So now we're here on the street giving a live demo of how the auto switching between six gun and tuner layouts works. So at a complete stop, like we are now, uh, you can see we're on the six gun layout. So here you can change the power level, excuse me, the tuner layout, which is the same for the Economind. So as soon as we start moving, it stays on the tuner layout until you coast and get off the throttle. So right now I'm off the throttle, and you can see it switched over here on gray to the bottom. So while you're coasting, you're on the speed brake uh, layout, and I can hold this down to change the menu. Hold it down one more time. So now we're on manual mode. So back on the throttle, we're gonna accelerate a little bit. And as soon as I get off the throttle, now you can see the current speed brake setting. So while on this menu, I can press the down button to change the, the set point. And if I come to a complete stop, I go back into the tuner layout. So now I can change the tuner power level. So with this method, you're able to control both the speed brake and tuner with a single iDash 1.8 gauge. For more information about the Banks iDash 1.8 Super Gauge or Data Monster for Banks Bus 1 devices, visit bankspower.com.